We, probably yeah. top, we should be like top three. We probably should be two behind Vegas. Who? We should be two behind the Vegas team that Duke beat. Right. I'm just being honest. Um, I was an incredible team. That was the best team I ever played on. And, uh, and yeah, Will Avery, who was incredible. And he was a guy, you know, glad to have Will back. But if you look at the pressure, the most pressure on a, a particular player that year was on him. Because you replace him, Wojo. And so he's, you're, you're the point guard on a team that, like, coming in, we knew we were going to be good. And he had to be really good for us to take it to that level. He was. And then Trajan, who Trajan was, he was incredible, man. He was incredible. They forget about us, too. You know, it's not even 90s. Is, this is my, I'm going into my 24th year out of school now. So I, I get it. But, like, I be telling these young blood. I mean, I just. I got gray hair now, but I used to you know, show you pull out the... Do you make them watch tape? Are there yeah, any you got to make them watch a little bit, you know? But they, they, they joke on me because they can't see it. Like, they, like coach, the, the film is kind of grainy, yeah. which it is. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. But, man, that, that team was incredible. Batty A. I mean, Corey McGetty was a lottery pick, and he, he came off the bench. He, didn't, he, didn't, he started, like, two games because of injury. He was a lottery pick. And so you think about that team, Chris Burgess, Nate James, Elton Brand. Uh, it was an incredible time. Incred <laughs> incredible team. I got that. To not be in the top tier is, is You act like I don't remember this. Y'all beat Virginia at home and away by 46 points. And you scored like 120 points. And, and it was the perfect mi mix because uh, – there was no egos on, egos on that team. I mean, Shane and myself, we were, we were the fourth and fifth options. When the next year we were the first team, all ACC. Yeah. Just to let you know. Like, Player to play, you. Right? All right. Eat. My man. And so, like, <laughs> I didn't want to say, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to play. Yeah. Yeah, so, you get that, right? I mean, you get two guys who, that team was incredible. Elvin Brand been the number one pick, the first guy to declare it, but, uh, it was a good time, man. Good time. Will and I, we reminisce about those. It was just a good time to be a part of something special. And then, then now to see it, it's like, God, it's, it's Have you good. couldn't believe it either, I asked him. So you, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, I asked him. I was reminisce with Will. Like, we were playing together, and now we're coaching together. Like, did you ever expect something like this to have that opportunity with him? I did not. I did not, man. Uh, for Will Avery to come back and uh, get his degree here, obtain his degree here at Duke University, it's, it's really one of the greatest stories ever. And I'm, and I'm not even exaggerating because, you know, when he left as a sophomore, uh, you know, he, it's over. You yeah, know, you think yeah. he's never going to come back. You know, once those guys leave and they make a lot of money, they school is mm. like, ah, But for him to come back and finish, and when you come back, nobody's saying. A lot of professors have retired. <laughs> no students. <laughs> like, you in, you in class with students who – it wasn't born with, that's, that's difficult. Yeah. But he stayed at it and uh, he did an unbelievable job, man. That's an unbe unbelievable accomplishment to come back and uh, to finish here. So my hat's off to him. What do you think he adds just uh, having that extra coach there and all that knowledge that's added to this, uh, to this coaching staff? Yeah, I mean, Will Avery, to leave as a sophomore, as a guard, was incredible. Like, he was a big time player here. And so he was one of the first guards. He probably he was the first guard to leave early. Before the Kyrie's and the Jay Williams, it was Will Avery. And so I think the respect, the fact that he was a big time player here, and then he had a he had a great career in Europe. So he has over 13 years of professional experience. And, and so he knows, and he's been, he's worn a uniform, he's been here. So he's able to take talk to these guys at a different level. And all these guys want to get to the level he was at. Right, they all want to get there, and so they ask like, "How was it?" And he tells them things that that he needs, they need to do, and things that he can work on them with. I mean, just a wealth of knowledge. So he's going to help us tremendously. You know, I, you know I, I, to hear like that from or even the other I, you, you know, once you you, you got to beat them into in a couple shooting games. You know, you got to show you got the young kid. They just, they just don't believe so you gotta <laughs> they just don't believe they like I, you gotta show them grainy you gotta, film huh you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta show them the grainy film and they still kind of but if you yeah. get up and show them a couple moves and move around a little bit i think they start believing but you gotta show them and they, they're just gonna take your word 
Yeah, I mean, you do this. They kind of look at you, but if you show them a couple times, they 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 fine. They Will's, fine. Will's, young young guys. Yeah, yeah. Will's, young not, Will's not the only one of the story. That's the thing that makes a good basketball staff. The stories they have to tell, the experiences. You know, you have several yourself. Oh, you were you were the number six rated high school player in the country. Had an injury, drop oh, yeah. a little bit. Coach K pulls you here. A hundred percent. Look at look at the way everything went for you though. But everybody here, a hundred percent, has been through. So even even John, 100%. even with his eye injury. So how has that helped you guys? Like I know we we keep talking about it. just be real with everybody. Just just how rich that history is, the experiences that you went through. Yeah, that's an unbelievable question. Like that that's what it's all about. Yeah. And I talk to these guys. I probably I probably won't talk to you. Like when you playing well, I'm probably the one that's I'm, I'm I i do not really talk to you. I mean I'll tell you a great job. <laughs> but the what I have hit you is when you when you're not playing well or when you're struggling, you may be struggling off the court. Like I, we've all been there before. And so I can pull a kid to a side and like Sometimes some of the situations I've been in, some of the mistakes I've made, I, I let them know. Because nobody's perfect. We don't expect you to be perfect, but you know, these kids have with the social media. They, got, they try to live up to something that sometimes expectation or whatever is a pressure that they had to deal with. Like, look, man, hey, you get, it's, I can tell you some, I can give you some stories, some good. <laughs> yeah. I also give you a lot of bad. But, <laughs> but from that, from those experiences, like if you just take one thing from them and can apply it, I think it helps. And you got, in this day and age, I try to be authentic and real with these kids. Just it, whether, like, whatever whatever it is. And so now they know, like, okay, yeah, yeah it, it was bad today. That doesn't mean it's gonna be bad tomorrow. <laughs> we all right, let's go get something to eat. Let's go, let's talk about it. Let's get something to eat, then we come back, we better. And I think our guys, We've done it, and Coach Shire has done it. We do a good job of just connecting with these guys. You got to find with, how to connect with them, too, which is not as easy, you know. Like, But if you connect with these guys and they're they, they able to come into your office or you can talk to them outside of basketball, outside of school, I think that's what we talk about relationship building. That's the most important thing. Maybe yeah. one more question, guys. One last quickie. Does this feel like the best staff you've ever been a part of? Ooh. Well, that's a tough one, huh? Does it, tough. Or can it be the best staff? Can it be? How about that? That's boy. I didn't mean to we put got, you on the spot got, that bad. Like, <laughs> 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 hey, we'll just we'll just, hey, we'll just let know, somebody stab with Coach K. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna let somebody else here. Stab with Coach K and John. We're gonna let somebody else. We'll let somebody else get the last question here. We forget, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does. It has potential. I mean, to be a really good staff, and you know all this. We, we get judged on how the recruits we be, bring in and then we get judged on winning and losing. And so that's yet to be determined because I've been on here, I've been on some, it's hard to top some of the stats out here. But we, we can we can be one of them, but it's, it goes, it's a lot that goes into it too. But so far it's been a great group so far.